and then grounded out to short in the third. Bass, the tall right-hander, draws up right and fires a pitch in the dirt that's blocked by the catcher, Joey Morgan. He tracks it down just a few steps up the first baseline, so the runners hold. But that's ball one to Romer Quadrado. The curveball has really been the basis for Brad Bass's success. He's not going to blow hitters away with that fastball, but has wielded his curveball very effectively so far against the Loons today. And he's chunked a few in this inning. And if he loses command of that pitch, the Loons can really sit on that fastball and punish it, hopefully. Quick mound meeting now as Joey Morgan is out to the hill to have a quick check on Brad Bass, and that's the second mound meeting of the inning for West Michigan. Activity up in the bullpen. Perez is on third. McKinstry is on second. Chu is on first. Good speed on the bases for the Loons down 2-0. Bottom five. One out. Here we go on 1-0. Curveball for a strike. Boy, he had the command back there. Dropped it right on the low outside corner. Righty, righty matchup here in the fifth. The Loons with their best scoring chance of the day. 1-1. One, one. A little squib ball foul up the third baseline into the grass. One ball and two strikes. Carlos Rincon waits on deck. The Loons would take anything here besides a double play. Fly ball to right, ground ball deep to the four hole would do the trick to get one run in. Here's the pitch. Curve ball away. Quadrado lays off in the count. Two balls and two strikes. The Dodgers like the aptitude and the maturity of Romer Cuadrado, 20 years old, and an international signee by the Dodgers in the 2014-15 free agent period. There's a curveball for a called strike three on the low outside corner. Got him looking. 